Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's training. I'm going to be your host. My name is Manny Quinones. I am one of the master educators here at iMarkets Live. And today, I'm going to introduce you guys to the most profitable harmonic strategy that you will ever find online. This strategy is known as the triple fire strategy. We're going to show you how to line up three easy indicators with the harmonic scanner on the 15 minute. And this would allow you to be in constant profits. We have back tested this strategy. We have used this several times and we have a community of people that is absolutely booming in profits with this strategy. So I hope you guys are excited to find out how we're going to get started. Now, in the event of, if you guys are going to market this strategy for any purposes and you're going to use it for Instagram or Facebook, if you guys would kindly please use the hashtag triple fire strategy spelled out. And also for a little fun, you guys can put hashtag harmonic scanner is bay. That way we can continue to grow our community and really, really develop a presence online. All righty. Now, for those of you that do not know how to use the harmonic scanner, it is actually quite simple. Okay, you can simply come over here all the way to the left side to be able to choose your brokers. And when you choose a broker, each broker has different spreads. They push the market in different directions. And these harmonic scanners, they're based on very specific mathematical algorithms. And that's how they're created inside the market. So some patterns will pop up on some brokers and some patterns will not pop up on other brokers. And this is why you have an entire list of brokers that you can choose from, okay? So anytime you're gonna use this, remember this strategy is gonna be used on the 15 minute time frame. So as you see here, these are gonna be all used on the 15 minute time frame, And we're gonna get ready to show you a couple of live examples. And now simply come here to your broker Choose any broker that you want, actually. Choose the scans for 15 minute. Now, when you open up the scans for 15 minute, this is going to show you all of the harmonic patterns, and you can simply click through these different type of patterns, okay? Now, remember, if the patterns are all the way down here, then that means that they're older patterns that have already went into profit. So you're gonna wanna look at the most recent patterns that are right here, the most one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna to wanna to look at the most recent patterns to be able to set up with our triple fire strategy, okay? Now, once you found a specific harmonic scanner on the 15 minute and it's getting ready <clears throat> for entry, you're gonna know if it's a buy or sell. It's very simple in case for those members that are very new, okay, if their entry is down here, and the take profit levels are above, then obviously that means that this is going to be a buy. So you can look for market execution buy opportunities when taking this and vice versa. If this pattern was flipped upside down and the take profits were below the entry, then it's obviously going to be a sell. So in this example, this is going to be a buy opportunity, which already took place, okay? And you see we have take profit one, two, three. Now your stop loss right here, you guys want to make sure that you're always putting in your stop loss as this is your risk factor inside of the market. So this protects your account from losing all of its money. Okay, so you only lose a little bit in case the trade goes against you. And this is how you live to trade another day. So anytime you get into a harmonic scan of trade, please make sure when you enter the market, you're entering around the entry Make sure you're always setting your take profit and you're always setting your stop loss. That way you can set it, forget it, go about your day. Now, before we get into the harmonic scanner, triple fire strategy, I want to let you know this strategy is meant to take it to TP1 on the 15 minute. Now, the TP1 can be anywhere from 10 pips to 15 pips to 25 pips. Some TP1s, like the NZD trades, can be as high as 50, 60 pips for take profit one. So it really depends on which currency pair that you're trading. So we're always looking to take it at minimum to TP1, but the trades are typically going to TP2, three, and beyond, okay? But you can always use this at TP1, all righty? So now let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of scans 
that are on the harmonic scanner. So what I do, okay, because we're gonna have to use a custom, okay, we're gonna have to use a custom indicator strategy template that you're gonna have to use. So what does that mean? That means that anytime that you're gonna trade the harmonic scanner, you need to copy over the harmonic pattern to the trading view. Now, this strategy is exclusively done on TradingView. You cannot do it on any other platform, and that's because TradingView gives you an indicator that's very vital to the strategy, and it's only available on TradingView, okay? So I'm going to actually show you how to build out the strategy, <clears throat> how to build out the strategy, um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use it and the three main components, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to remove all indicators, okay? So now you see we have a blank chart, okay? And these here are just support and resistance levels, okay? So I like to always draw out my support and resistance levels just to see where the market is going to be going. So let's start off like this. Now you can do this with a free TradingView account. Now in the event that you do not have access to the blue sky indicator, you can upgrade to a pro account, okay? And then downgrade at any time so that way you can just simply get access to it. So you're gonna come here to tradingview.com, okay? Now you can also follow me on tradingview.com, Manny Quinones, I just recently started out my trading view, so feel free to come here and check me out and my trading ideas as I do try to post here regularly, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's start with NZD USD. This is one of the triple five strategies, okay? We have several things, so you're gonna come here to indicators, Indicator one is you're going to want to put your MACD, okay? So we're going to want to put our MACD up here. Now, if your MACD looks different from my MACD, you're going to have to adjust the settings because typically it comes with a green and red format down here. So if it looks like that, I'm going to show you how to update it to mine. So you're going to come here, okay? You see how it typically has histogram, and that's why it's green and red. Now, you're going to come here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to inputs right over here and we're gonna input a custom setting for the MACD. Now this is known as the 31016 oscillator and this is to detect true divergence inside of the market, okay? So for those of you that are already trading with our international trading group, iMarkets Live, then you know that our CEO, Christopher Terry, this is a time, 20 year time-tested strategy that he has been using. So we don't want to reinvent the wheel. We want to be able to use what has made our predecessors millions of dollars trading so that way we can get their results. So on fast length, you're going to come here to put three. On the slow length, you're going to put 10. Signal smoothing, you're going to put 16. And then make sure the simple MA is checked right here. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to styles. Now, this histogram is going to be checked. So Uncheck the histogram, so make sure that's not checked. Come down here to where it says MACD. Make sure this is checked. Now come over here to this drop-down menu because the default comes online. So we're gonna wanna change it from line to histogram. That way it's there. Okay, for your signal, make sure that you beef up the signal just a little bit so it's easy to see because this is a very vital component and then simply come here to default and click save as default. So that way it's always there. Okay, so now we have our MACD 31016. Now the next one that we need is you're gonna come here and you're going to use the Scotastics. Okay, sometimes I pronounce it wrong, so please don't judge me. Now we're gonna do a custom setting as well with the Scotastics. Okay, again, I like to beef up these signal lines. Okay, so that way they're very easy to see and come here, and then it's also gonna have background. So just uncheck the background because it's just very distracting. You don't need it there. Come to inputs, okay? Your K has to be 14. Your D needs to be changed to seven, and then you could put your smooth at three. Come save as default and press okay. Now, for those of you that are trading, again, with iMarkets Live, those of you, you might follow a very good friend, mentor, and actually business sponsor of mine, Mr. Lasado Tavares, him and Luke Longmire, all right, they share the IML Gold Cup 
algorithm that we have inside the company, which is extremely profitable. And this is Lasado's custom fantastic settings for his gold cup. Okay, so you guys can use this as well. And feel free to go check that gentleman out, him and Luke Longmire. They're doing amazing work there. Now, let's come here. Okay, so we have our two confirmations. So we have fire one, fire two. Now let's get fire three. So you're going to come to indicators, and then now you're just going to type in blue. You're going to see this thing known as blue sky strategy pop up and simply click on blue sky. Now what blue sky is going to do for you is blue sky is a built-in algorithm inside of TradingView. And what it does is it's very, very accurate to use to scalp the market in and out the market. Okay, so I'm not much of a scalper inside of the market. And I have also seen people use Blue Sky that try to scalp the market just with these signals alone, and they lost a tremendous amount of money. Okay, so remember, the Forex market requires a lot of discipline and a lot of patience and a lot of understanding. Okay, so please, by all means, take my advice and do not try to use trip Blue Sky on its own. We're going to use Blue Sky as the third fire, which completes the triple fire to go ahead and give us an entry confirmation inside of the market. So when you line all three of these up with the harmonic scan, there goes your blue sky. All right. And then this is such an amazing strategy. I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. Okay. So let's get right into it. Okay. So let's come down here. Now, remember, once you put, once you have all three indicators saved, Okay, simply come here to templates and click save indicator template and just name this triple fire strategy. I put fire triple. Okay, just name this the triple fire strategy and click save. If you have a free account, you can only save just one strategy template. Okay, now again, in the event that you cannot use the blue sky because it's a premium signal, I just honestly don't remember you can upgrade your trading view account okay simply come here click on gopro okay and then they'll let you upgrade the account so feel free to upgrade it to pro pro plus pro pro premium and what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to get all the features of the trading view but they will not charge you the money until you until 30 days is complete so what that means is that you can actually upgrade it absolutely for free. Just get a free email, upgrade it absolutely for free. Okay. Come here to the chart, add the template, save it. And then what you can do is you can come back here and then you can cancel your subscription before the 30 days. So you never get charged and that will allow you to save the template and everything that you want here. Okay. So one, two, three no charge and you get to have your template saved okay now let's come back over here let's get right into the strategy let's talk about how this strategy is going to work okay so let me close this down now the triple fire requires three different things to be present okay the first thing that has to be present is that your scotastics have to be in an oversold market okay so you see these gray lines it has to be in an oversold market. So basically you just want it to be all the way down here and you're looking for it to be oversold and you're looking for your signal cross, okay? So that signal cross in an oversold market is your first confirmation, okay? Now your second confirmation is using the MACD and spotting divergence here in the MACD, okay? So this might be a little difficult for some people to understand, <clears throat> but it's actually not. So let me give you a quick overview on what divergence is. Divergence simply means when you check out the market, okay, the market makes a series, as you know, of lows and highs and lows inside of the market, okay? So it's easy to see that the market comes down, it goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down, it goes up. Very simple. 
So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the market, while the market is coming down, you want this MACD oscillator to go high, okay? And then that represents divergence. Divergence is best known as when the market is diverging. So while one thing is going up, the other thing is going down or vice versa. That's the market diverging from one another, okay? Now, any single time that you're going to trade a harmonic pattern, as our CEO, Christopher Terry states, you always want to spot divergence. Why? Because the harmonic patterns are reversal patterns in the market. It means what comes down must go up, and what goes up must come down. So these harmonic, spat, these harmonic patterns, okay, this algorithm is detecting when the market is low, so you can go ahead and push the market back up to the high, okay? So you're always going to want to spot divergence to confirm your harmonic scanner entry. So let me show you how this works. So I'm going to come here, take a look at this. So we have, pardon me, that was the wrong one right here. So as you see here, we have what's known as negative. Okay. Then, right, this is negative. So this is when the market is low. So low, low. See how the market's coming down and the histogram is low. Then the market comes up to a high point and then the market, it turns positive. So here goes your positive charge. Okay. Now the market comes low again. So you see how the market comes low? So the market's low, low. The market comes high, high. And then the market comes low down here again. Okay, and then here goes your low inside of the market. There goes your low charge inside of the market. So you see how the market goes from low, high, to lower low. So this low was lower than this low. All right. And a good way to do this is you can use what's known as a trend angle. So I'm going to show you guys this. Okay. So you see how this trend angle comes down here, right? So you see how it's negative 20. So now take a look at this. While this was going lower, this oscillator pushed higher. So it ended up coming higher. You guys see that? So down here, if I can show you, Okay, here we have negative 20, and then here we have positive 4. Okay, so if you come here to the second two bar and you come to trend angle, you can come to trend angle in case you're ever confused with what divergence is. When you're connecting the lows, make sure this is negative, and when you're connecting these, make sure it's positive. That just goes to show you that the market is diverging. It's doing the opposite of, okay? So this is known as divergence in the market. So this is the first thing that we want to see, okay? So now once you see divergence, you're going to see here that the signal line, you're going to see here the signal line right over here on the MACD ends up breaking the histogram, okay? It ended up breaking the histogram, okay? This is known as a first cross trade signal. So this is when the signal line is breaking the histogram, indicating that we are now gaining strength, right? It's actually very simple. So triple fire confirmation is one, oversold crosses on the scotastics, making sure that you have divergence is the second signal, okay? And then now the third signal, the third thing that you want to wait for is you want to wait for the blue sky to give you a buy signal, okay? You want to wait for the blue sky. You want to wait for this little bad boy to pop up and give you a buy signal. Now, if you do not like the red and the blue, the red and the blue is very simple. It just goes to show you when the background turns blue, it means that the market is now becoming bullish, when the background turns red, that means the market is becoming bearish and it gives you the sell signal. So you guys can simply come here to your blue sky. And if you want, you can go to style, go to color, and then you can simply just change this where it's not even there if you guys want to keep a white background. And then just wait for the blue 
and the red signals to pop up. But since I trade this strategy exclusively with the harmonic scanner, I like to leave it as it, as it gives me, you know, just positive color confirmation and it makes it very simple for me to understand. So now look here, triple one, two, three. Once you have this, bam, that's the triple fire. And then you know to go ahead and then to take the market up. Now, as you see here, this market didn't come up a lot. This one only came up about 10 pips, but it still hit take profit one on the harmonic scanner. And as long as this stood here, okay, I left this here and I let the market come all the way up. And it came almost up to take profit two and it went even higher. But I have way better examples for you guys. So here goes example one. Let's check out example two on AUD USD 15 minute. Here was another harmonic scanner trade that I put up. I simply marked up my support and resistance zones, okay, in the market. Now let's check this out. So let's come over here. Let's do a triple fire lineup. I'm gonna do a vertical line right over here where it gave me, where the blue sky officially gave me the long signal. I'm gonna come down here so we could check here and I'm gonna come down here so we could check here, okay? So I want my triple fire to line up again at all these areas, okay? So here goes my long signal. There goes my first fire. Here goes my second that I'm gonna look for. And here goes my third, okay? So again, I want to be able to line up. I want to be able to line up right here, my triple fire. So let's see if the triple fire lined up. When we come here, we have a Scotastics oversold and crossing, triple fire one. We also had divergence here. Let me show you again, right? Right, here goes the negative. It goes, oops, pardon me guys. Okay, so here goes my divergence. Let me show you here get a trend angle. So the market makes a low, high, low. So we're gonna put the market down and you see we have a negative degree. Now we're going to come here and we're gonna check out our histograms right down here. Here goes negative. Pardon me, all these tools are in the way. Okay, so here goes negative positive and then another negative all over again right over there see that so we have negative positive negative negative positive negative so as this is coming lower as this low is coming lower again just to show you guys for those of you that do not know how to trade divergence as we have a low high low we're here with low, high, low, but the market is making an opposite move. Trend angle, see how this trend angle is negative 11? And when you come here, it's positive seven, okay? So very easy way to detect divergence. So we had our divergence with the first cross breaking the histogram. We have our crossover right over here on the Scotastics, and then all we did was wait for the blue sky to give us that confirmation to buy and bang, put us right into instant profits. And that's why the blue sky is so powerful because it gives you that final confirmation that you need to say, hey, the market is ready to start pushing up immediately. Okay, so it's very, very, very powerful. Now, as you see, this market came up all the way to TP1. This was a solid 22 pips. And if you were trailing your profits, this came up about 40 pips, almost 100% of the pattern, okay? Let's check out the next one. Let's check out AJ right over here, okay? Let's check out AJ right over here. Same exact deal. Let's come over here. Let's line up. The blue sky gave us the buy right on this candlestick right here. We're gonna line up the candlesticks. There goes one. Here it goes two, let me just move this over. 
Okay, and then we're gonna line up three right there just to see if the triple fire is lining up. Okay, so again, confirmation one. Okay, let's do confirmation two right over here. And then let's do confirmation three, which is supposed to be right down here. Okay, all righty, let's see if this ended up lining up. First thing that we want to wait for is we want to be able to spot divergence in the market. Now, this one gave us a different type of divergence. Oh, this is the 15 minute, the five. Let me put this back to 15. I apologize. Okay. All righty, guys. Let's check this out here. All right. Here goes our triple sky. Now, I see this one's a little bit different. So the blue sky gave us the buy. Okay, now look, 15 minute, 15 minute, we have one, two, three. So we have the Scotastics oversold and crossing. We have the MACD signal breaking, and then we have the blue sky buying. Now, the only issue with this one is, look, there's no divergence. So you see when the market is low, high, low, the market is low, high, low. So there's actually no divergence here. So sometimes when there's no divergence, what you can end up doing is you can come down to the 15 minute or you can drop down to the five minute or go up to the 30 minute to see if there's other divergence. So for this example, let's come over here to the five minute and let's see if there's divergence on the five minute right here, okay? Let me see where this pattern's at, and I can't seem to find it now. Okay. All right, let's come over here. All right, let's check this out right over here. So as you see here, this gave us a double bottom type of divergence. Okay, so look, if you take this trend angle and you push down, you can easily see that the that it's coming down, right? You see that the trend is coming down. You have negative, positive, negative. Now, when you come down here on the histogram, okay, when you come down here on the histogram, we have negative, okay, positive, right over here, and then negative again. Okay, one second, let's push this here. Now down here, while this is coming down, you see that this one was going right across. Okay, so you see how that one was going right across? This is known as double bottom divergence. Now there are different type of divergence types that you can find out, so it's definitely good for you to know them. Let's jump to the 30 minute and let's see if we have it on the 30 minute as well. Let's see if there was any divergence on the 30 minute. Okay. Let me have the pattern come up. I just have to find it. Okay. Here goes the pattern on the 30 minutes. Okay. So there was no divergence on the 30 minute, but there was there on the five. Okay, so that was the double bottom divergence. Okay, so we had that there. Okay, <clears throat> all right, let's check out the next pair over here. So we have EU. Okay, we have EU over here. Here goes another triple fire that lined up. Okay. So you can easily see right here with EU. <clears throat> so with EU, we also had divergence. As you can see here, we're gonna put our trend angle. You see it has the market is coming down low. We have a negative degree, negative, positive, negative. And then when you come here from our negative, positive, negative, the market has a slight positive degree of four degrees. So here goes divergence with the blue sky. And then you see right here, 
This is not too oversold. This is not too oversold. We did get the buy signal, but it wasn't too oversold. Let's see if I could drop down into the five minute and see what's going on with this one. And when the buy signal gave us the buy to come over here, which was the first buy. Okay, let's try the 30 minute over here. Okay, the 30 minute gave us a lot more of a clearer indication. As you see, this is a much, much broader pattern, uh, but it did pop up on the 15 minute. So if, if it's a bigger, if it's a bigger time frame, you could also come here and use this. And as you see here, we do have great divergence right over here. So we have a much, much broader negative positive divergence right down here. So signal one, signal two, and signal three. And you see, we was able to push right into profit here. And this was a pretty significant jump right over here. That was a solid 80 pips. All righty. GBP CAD. Here goes another one. Just showing you guys, just getting you guys in the groove. Now this is bearish. So this is good that this is in the bearish. Okay. Let's put here. So let's come over here. Oops. Pardon me. That was the wrong one. We're gonna come over here, trend angle. So here we go, the market is pushing up. You see we have a positive 13 degrees. And then as you see here, from these highs down here, pardon me guys, let's push this up. From the highs over here coming down, we had a negative degree. Okay, negative five, positive 14. So we have, First cross, first fire, oversold in the market with the cross second fire, and then the short was the third fire. So guys, very, 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 very powerful. Very, very powerful stuff. And if you guys actually check out, okay, before we get out of here, let me show you this one. Here goes, let me log back into this one right over here. Let me show you guys the GBP CAD which is this current market. So let's come over here. Let's come to GBP CAD on the 15 minute. You see this was a shark pattern. So this actually gave us a back to back harmonic pattern. Okay, so this is the same pair GBP CAD and GBP CAD. Now once it had the first harmonic pattern, when this came down and we caught all of these pips, there was another harmonic pattern right over there. So let's try to line this harmonic pattern up and do this live. So we had a sharp pattern, which was giving us one, two, three, and four hits down over here. Okay, so that gave us a whole second type of harmonic pattern right here inside of the market. Okay, and if you come down here, same ordeal, guys. Look at this again negative, positive, negative. So, as this market is coming down, okay, we can easily see that the market here is coming up right over there, and we have that nice divergence oversold cross signals with the with the long with the blue sky buy signal and it took us right into profit guys so these are some amazing this is such an amazing strategy i know you guys are going to be able to catch a significant amount of pips and i'm showing you back to back to back to back trade setups right over here okay and it just continues to work gbp or gbp nzd now uh if you guys take a quick look at gbp nzd i want to show you guys how gbp nzd did not have proper divergence and it only came up to tp1 and this is why we wait for the blue sky that way we could have waited out the market that blue sky gives us that final confirmation this only came to tp1 but this was still a solid 50 pips on gbp and zd all right and this is why you want to make sure that your divergence type is correct because as you see here as you see here, as the market was coming down, 
here, yes, this market was coming up just like this, but it did not have that positive charge. You need to see as the market pulls down, comes up and comes down, you need to see the market come down, be positive and be negative. That is a true divergence type, okay? So make sure that you guys are spotting the true divergence type. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you guys love the triple fire strategy. Now, quickly, I'm going to let you guys know here, if you guys want to trade with me inside of the markets and really, really learn the triple fire strategy, you guys can come to iMarkets Live TV. All right, simply log into your IML TV account. I'll show you guys where you can find me to follow along with my session. So just simply come here to English, come right here to Harmonic Scanner, and then you guys can find my banner right over here. And I am trading live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, I have to get this updated. So it's Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys can come on and trade live with me. All right, if you guys also want to, you can follow me on Facebook right here at Manny Quinones. So just simply search Manny Quinones on Facebook. You guys can also find me on Instagram right here at Chairman 500 on Instagram. All right, so you guys can come over here, check me out on Instagram. And if you guys want to be able to follow me on Pip Talk, guys, just come to our Facebook channel, NYC Trade House. Shout out to DFW Trade House. We are a branch under them. Mike Miles, Christian Vargas, Jordan Morgan. Right, you guys can come to any one of our videos, like example for this one or the current one that you're watching. And if you come under the section, okay, you can join our Pip Talk channel right here on iMarkets Live where I will be doing daily markups. So I will throw out all the, the triple fire strategies that pop up so you guys can take them. I will also inform you guys when I'm going live and also give you guys my personal markups inside the market. So again, guys, I have been so blessed and grateful to be able to come here, share this triple fire strategy with you. Um, feel free to share this with your fellow IML members, You know, share this with your chairman, share this with your educators. Let everybody know about the triple fire strategy. Join us there and also feel free to join us in our Telegram channel right over here. You guys can simply go to Telegram and search Harmonic Scanner in the Telegram search and we pop right up. Or you can come directly to the link, which is t.me slash IMLHS. Okay, so it is there. It's also on the YouTube channel. And you guys can come here and join our entire IML Harmonic Scanner community. And you see we have a lot of our students trading the triple fire and making profits on a day-to-day -day basis. Alrighty, guys, so I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side, guys. Stay in profit, stay blessed, all right? Don't forget to hashtag triple fire strategy and also hashtag Harmonic Scanner is Bay. Let's con continue to grow this community. Let's continue to help people win Let's help our fellow traders get into profit with this simple triple fire strategy. Everybody, again, I am your host. I am your trainer for today. IML, Harmonic Scanner Master Educator, Manny Quinones. I've been so blessed and grateful, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side and in profit. Everybody, have a great day.